What the polls is saying is that you will lose the seat. What is your reaction to the poll results today? Um, my reaction is one of calm and tranquility. I am not daunted. I am not in any way phased by what I have read in the Gleaner. The numbers, if you look at them closely, you find that they are seeing a totally different picture from the sensationalism that follows the headline. And that is what I base my judgment from. Numbers don't lie. And when you look at the numbers closely, the sensationalism that went with the pronouncement of the lead and the grandeur of the lead, the headline says large and in charge, but you're saying that the numbers are not saying large the numbers and in charge. Are not saying that. What, what are the numbers saying to you? I will not divulge the numbers to you here. No, 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 what, no, sorry, I mean... Um, from the poll itself? Yes, from the poll itself. Yeah. If you look, one of the numbers add up to 80%. The other two adds up to 100%. And in Chapleton has 45 polling divisions. Right? That's where my lead is. Yes. Moko has 23 polling divisions. That's where their lead is. And Rock River yeah. has a slight advantage towards them. That is what you are. That is what is in the poll. That's the, the polls. numbers in the poll. Polls, right. But if you read further into it and analyze those numbers, yeah. you find it paints a different picture. Given the work that you have been doing in this constituency as a first time contender, you came within 500 votes of overturning Colonel Charles. Now you have a new candidate for the ruling party. The poll numbers still have to be there. What is it that you're going to have to do between now and Wednesday to go and convince your people to come out and vote? Continue what I have been doing, meeting the people, explaining to them my manifesto, showing to them their lack of social amenities that has been tradition. It's a tradition of the opposite um, party to keep them depraved, and at the end of the beginning of an election to come and flood them with promises and trivial gifts. I notice the vastness of the constituency. You know, how far in some area houses are apart from each other. I notice a lot of bad roads in some communities, not so heavily traffic, rural. Well, all of it is deep rural anyway. What is it that you are offering for them to come out and vote for you. The fact that bad roads are no stranger to us. We have been accustomed to that. And the person that was a member of parliament for 18 and a half years, every election season promises are made. Promises are made to correct the road condition. Promises are made to build bridges. Promises are made to build health centre and training centre and community centre. And it's just promises after promises after promises. I intend to be realistic. I'm not going to give you the heavenly highway. I'm going to fix one road at a time. One road at a time. And the most important thing to me now is providing access to drinking water. Water must be piped into every home in North Central Canada. Each political division must have a training center for the youth. We are focusing on providing jobs through micro and small business enterprise, where loans enablement um, fund from the, con from the constituent development fund can be given as grants to these small entrepreneurs to kickstart the, the, the business. Another thing is that we have acres and acres of idle land that could be put into production, agricultural production, because we are a rural area. We have no agro-processing plant here, yet Aki's travel from here in truckloads go down to Maypen and as far as St. Thomas, right? We, we have mangoes to stone dog when it's mango season. When it's guinea season, we have them dropping off the tree. 
when it's pineapple season, we have them abundantly. Yeah. Yet we have no added va value added um, institution to make use of those here. That's what I bring. Um, the water situation here, we can dig wells and treat the water it needs be and pipe it into the homes. Not have pumps down by any sill and chuck the water up here. You talk about water loss during the conveyance of water from pumping station to the household. Let us fix that. Instead of belly aching about water loss, let us fix the water loss so that we can come up to standard to the other um, areas in Jamaica. Why should there be two Jamaica? One for rural and one for urban area. We are one Jamaicans. Look at it now with COVID and um, learning. All of the learning will have to be by internet. How much penetration do we have in North Central Clarendon? The cable service is sham. The cellular service is sham. So we need to bring up to standard all our schools so that we can have e-learning and internet access so that all our children can get the basic. Where are the technology center? If you are a member of parliament for 18 and a half years, where is the foresight in seeing that there needs to be a homework center for the youth? A technology center likened to an internet cafe where they can go and access the internet. Not everybody will be able to have private laptops and private um, iPads and whatever. But what is the member of parliament doing or did? to provide a permanent long-term solution to the teaching and learning aspect of the constituents here. You think you have done enough representing those dreams, those ideas, that vision to the constituents? You think you have done enough to win? A I have been preaching on a daily basis. I don't let politics interfere with my medical practice. But when we meet outside of the office or outside of the hospital, I have been communicating my plans to the people constantly. What you see here, the fanfare of the billboards and the flags and the hype that goes along with I don't believe in hype. I don't make promises I can't fulfill. It's better I give you one promise and know that it will be fulfilled than give you ten promises and know that none will be brought to reality. So the hype and the fanfare and the all that you're seeing in North Central, my aim is to get out the votes. At the end of the day, if the vote is not in the ballot, then it cannot help me. Even now, some of those people who are wearing Nesta armband, their parents, I treated them. They themselves, as children, I treated them. Yeah. And they themselves come to my practice, and my private practice, and get free treatment. Yeah. Yeah. Up here, the die-heartedness. Yeah. Don't stand to reasoning. Yeah. I was reasoning with a young man just now, and he said, Boy, Doc, your ideas are brilliant, you know, because I hear you on the radio yesterday, but you know how it go. I said, How it go? Tell me how it go. You know, I said, I said, What about logics? Yeah. What about development in your community? Why? I mean, I know, you know, because I'm um, agreeing, I said. Oh. <laughs> you can't reason. You yeah. can't reason.